Today in our 2012 Mazda 5, we're going to be test fitting the Yakima Ridgeback 2 bike hanging style rack for inch and a quarter and two inch inches. This part number is Y02457. This is a great accessory for your vehicle. It's going to allow you to haul up to two bikes wherever you might be going on your trip or to the trails. You can see we have a bike installed. Let's take a closer look and show off some of the features. Now on the ends of our arms, we are going to have bottle openers on the ends. Yakima likes to put that on all the other products. Right here, we're going to have this nice rubber TPE padding. That means you see these little notches that are coming up from the rubber. Those are going to act as shock absorbers for the frame of our bike. It's going to just help protect it from any type of scratches or abrasions. We have three different points that where the bike rack is securing our bike, which is three zip strips. We have two on the top of our frame right here, forcing it down onto the cradle. Then the third point is going to be this anti-rattle cradle with the zip strip through it. You can see it comes on the seat post tube right here. That's going to take away a lot of the sway from our bike while we're traveling. It's going to help prevent the bike from making contact with our Mazda, which could possibly scratch it, or with another bike we could have installed. Let's go ahead and take the bike off. It's a pretty easy process. We're just going to pinch in the two sides of our zip strips, pull it out. We're just going to hang it on the pole for now. Do the same over here. Just make sure you keep track of where you put your zip strips. And then from there, you can just remove it. And then just be sure you replace your zip strips, you know, put them back in the cradles. You can put them in the, your car if you don't want to risk them falling out. But if you leave them on the support arms right here, you're probably going to lose them, which could be annoying to have to buy more of them. Now with any hitch mounted accessory, you are going to add length to your vehicle. In the case of our Mazda, from the bumper to the outermost point, We've added on about 21 inches to our vehicle. Now for ground clearance, the Mazda does sit pretty low to the ground, but the bike rack itself, the base of it, where the ground clearance is important, is pretty close to the hitch and to the rear axle. So we're at about 11 inches right there for ground clearance. But like I said, you know, if your hitch is gonna clear it, you shouldn't have any problems with your bike rack. Then the closest point is gonna be this base right here to the bumper. It's about three inches, but that base isn't moving at all. It's not going to come up and make contact with the vehicle. Now we can fold these arms down to conserve on space we've added on to the back of our Mazda. We're going to pull this top handle right here. I assume all those arms fall down and lock into place. And now if we measure again, we've only added on about nine and a half inches to the back of our Mazda 5. And our ground clearance didn't change at all. You can see our cradles are sitting kind of close to the vehicle, it's about four inches right there, but they're stationary, you're not gonna have to worry about that at all either. Well, let's come down here and take a look at the hitch and see how it connects to the hitch. Now, what's great about this system is that it's a toolless installation, so you're not gonna need a socket wrench or anything like that for an anti-rattle bolt. We have this safety pin right here, just in case the anti-rattle system does fail. But the anti-rattle system is back here on this knob what you do is when you turn, this knob is locked right now, so we can't loosen it or tighten it, so that's a nice security feature. But when you want to unlock it, you just take your key and insert it. That's going to activate the system, and you can just loosen it up, and you can pull it out of your hitch receiver. Now, one last feature I want to show you guys is that if you need to gain access to your trunk, and you don't, and you don't have any bikes loaded, you can tilt it away from the vehicle. We're going to pull this other handle right here, and we can just tilts it away. That gives us access to the trunk. We can just open it up and we got plenty of space to grab whatever we might need out of the back and be on our way. I do want to stress that it's not advised to use this feature while you have any bikes loaded. So just push it back up when you're done, then you hear it lock into place. But that'll do it for a look at the Yakima Ridgeback 2 bike rack on our 2012 Mazda 5. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. And finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. 